Hello, my strong, strong friends. Today's video is gonna be pretty simple and sweet. For today's workout on Stronger by the Day, we have something called the T-shirt press that we're utilizing. The T-shirt press is one that I learned from the one and only Jen Thompson. And there aren't too many YouTube videos about it, so I wanted to take an opportunity to teach you guys what she taught me and what we're having our lifters do this week and block of training and stronger by the day. So let's go. Oh, if you guys are new here, then subscribe to my channel. My name is Meg and I make videos about lifting weights, some nutrition, some lifestyle, usually not lifestyle, but lifestyle in regards to lifting weights, if that's lifestyle. Anyway, let's go. One method that we use all the time in strength training is imposing or forcing ourselves to limit our strength in one way or another so that we can work on our weak points and we can work on getting stronger by making the movement harder because as you know it's hard to just keep adding weight and progressively overload into infinity obviously a couple different ways that we do that or that we probably talked about on the channel before are long pauses in the bench press or spoto press or close grip bench press those are all ways to self-limit yourself to impose a limitation so that you can get a little bit stronger. And the t-shirt press is very similar to a spoto press or like a long pause. Like the name says, we're going to be touching our t-shirt in the bench press. But Meg, I always touch my t-shirt in the bench press. Well, yeah, I know, but we're only touching our t-shirt. We're only touching our t-shirt. We're not making contact with our skin. Meaning that we're going to control the barbell so that it barely just grazes our t-shirt. Let me show you how it's done. If you don't wear t-shirts, then use your bra. If you don't wear a bra, then what are you doing? Honey, honey, stop it, nasty girl. I'm just playing. The focus of the movement is to build tension and slow your eccentric down so that you're in complete control of the rep. When you start to make contact with just your t-shirt, then maintain that tension and then explode off the chest. Jen talks a little bit more about how she uses the t-shirt press in some of her training. I'm gonna link that video down below so that you can hear from her herself. This movement is very similar to a spoto press. The only difference is the spoto press you're pausing two or maybe one inch off the chest. We are coming all the way down, getting that full range of motion and then just like lightly hovering for a, a long pause on the chest. Well, that's all for the t-shirt press. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out Jen's video so you can learn more from her. And if you guys are new here, then subscribe to my channel. I make videos and I post them every single week. Follow me on the other places and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.